2015 J Feather um, SLX just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a model 16 XRB, roughly 16 foot box, um, lightweight model. This is effectively a uh, little brother or maybe a, a more compact version to a, the uh, extremely popular X17Z J Feather. Same general layout. This is just a slight little, little uh, more compound package. Um, in general, as compared to its big brother, X17Z, you will save about 10% weight. You'll also save about 10% on the price tag. Both of those are things most people are going to like. Um, in your compact class trailer, I say compact because this is not a traditional 8 foot wide travel trailer. This is 7.5 narrow body. There are some things on here no one else in this class can match. First of all, when you generally get down to this smaller class, your construction pretty much tends to be really cheap and go south. Um, a lot of them are only a hung sheet of fiberglass on the side. If you look down the side of it, the fiberglass sheet waves. This is fully vacuum laminated. Look above your tires on a small camper like this. Nobody looks down here. But you see this is all nice and shiny. This has galvanized steel wheel wells. God forbid you ever have a blowout. That tire is not going to whip around and shred your interior. Um, very few people in the compact class are going to be using uh, Duratec canvas material here. It's not canvas, we call it that because that's the word people know. Most compact trailers do not have a true patio awning. This has the largest patio awning you can put on it. You see it starts at the back of the trailer and goes all the way right to the front. Um, nothing else in this class that I know of has the two year bumper to hitch warranty of a Jayco. Um, we did put one significant upgrade on here and that is we upgraded from just a wall mounted air conditioner to the full 13,500 BTU travel trailer AC. And a big air like that on a small camper like this, you could probably breathe icicles if you really wanted to. They did put in, and the reason we did that is that uh, instead of needing a cabinet right here, instead of having a big cabinet built into the wall, it just puts in this big, big window. Um, the uh, table is freestanding, so you can take that out if you'd like. The um, color scheme we're looking at here is Harvest. Um, but if the pictures in the video don't 100% line up on that, it's because we sell a ton of these and sometimes they look a little different. The, um, I just showed you the sofa. The outdoor storage space I showed you was underneath the sofa, just so you can kind of connect A to B. If I'm moving fast, I'm sorry, my battery's running low here. In this class, you generally are going to have cheap metal shades, not um, nice uh, cloth blinds. Um, you see the little mini kind of headboard inserts in here, so that when you fold the, be uh, the sofa or the dinette down into a bed, um, you know, you have places to put all your stuff. 50% uh, thicker bed mats than anything else in its class, and these are Denver Mattress brand, just like Jayco's full-blooded travel trailers. Um, looking back this direction, up here we have a nice little entertainment corner with TV hookup. Um, you see a little stereo system right there. We have uh, a uh, five cubic foot refrigerator freezer. In uh, a camper this size, it's really about the biggest you would want, otherwise you have to give up a lot of things. It does have a freezer drawer in it, so if you have popsicles and who knows, maybe some Jägermeister. Whatever you take camping, you can uh, keep it cool in there. Um, the uh, countertop here, they did extend it out a little bit to give you some extra space where you do really need it. You see there is extra storage down here for the rear bunk. What's cool is if you're not going to use the rear bed, if you don't need it, don't put it down. It's kind of optional like that. It's like a bonus bed if you think about it. Um, the uh, you know you're, and this the reason they go seven and a half wide is it's what allows you to have a full bathroom with a shower and toilet instead of shower toilet all in one. Now one thing I want to point out is most manufacturers are not also going to give you a skylight above the shower. They give you both the power vent and the skylight. Again, I'm sorry for moving through this so quickly. Please call us with any questions. 800 256 5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Happy camping.